Hello, I'm Delusion the Speller, discussing a very challenging and disturbing topic of narcissists as pedophiles. Um, specifically, I may just be discussing pedophiles in general, but there is an element of narcissism and pedophilia, being that it is objectifying people, and that is what narcissists do. Okay, um, there's kind of a, what do you call it, a paradox of enmeshment plus separation anxiety that's going on here. The narcissistic pedophile wants to bond with the child. Very often you'll see this within families where there's this pedophile within the family that becomes very close to the child, brings him gifts, puts him on his lap or her lap, and wants to form this attachment to the child and to the child's family very often. This becomes an enmeshment and it, what's interesting about narcissists in general is they, when they do things, they do what they believe the other person wants to do. In other words, if they're envious of somebody, they believe the other person is envious of them also. In this case, we're talking about enmeshment. The narcissist, in his distorted view of thinking, believes that the child wants to be abused. They want to have this distorted, messed up relationship with them. But what's really going on is the narcissist wants to connect to that child and enmesh himself in that child's lifestyle so it's easier to woo that child away and get them fully dominant or dependent on them. Um, there's also separation anxiety, which I talked about earlier. Um, they want to bond with this child so tightly that nobody can ever separate them and they'll always have this narcissistic supply of sexuality from the child. They also want to keep the child there because they fear this child will leave them at some point or be taken from them. So it's a really sick cycle of abuse going on here. They start stalking the child, showing up at school, um, being nice to the child's friends, anything, you know, like I said, buying gifts, anything they can to woo this child over to them. They, like I said, might be related to the child. They could be friends of the child's parents. They don't have to be a relative. They very rarely, I don't think, are strangers. It's mostly somebody in the family that has this pedophilia tendency. They are extremely lonely people, and they live in a fantasy world. Everything is fantasy for them. And it's like this quest that they're on, kind of like a soap opera type thing or a movie. And the disturbing thing is, like I told you earlier, they literally believe the child is also attracted to them. And this is why it's so hard to deal with these people. If you watch any of the videos on YouTube about pedophiliacs, they literally think the child enjoyed it. They think they wanted it. They think that the child is in love with them, but you have to remember narcissists really don't understand the concept of love to begin with, so even pedophiliac narcissists don't understand love. They understand domination, they understand control, they understand turning the child into a clone or a puppet and getting their gratification out of that child. That's the other thing about um, sex with a child, it's instantly gratifying for them because it's so easy to dominate an innocent little being versus having to go through a relationship with another adult. And so as sick as that sounds, and I hope it does sound sickening to you, that's how their mind works. Very distorted, demented, and disturbing. So that concludes my report, if you want to say, or my information about narcissists and pedophiliacs. Thank you for watching. If you're in this situation, please get help. Please talk to somebody. Um, if you know of any child that's being harmed, please report it as soon as possible. Thank you. God bless you. Stay tuned for the next videos.